have no records of these shipwrecks. Oh, look at the size of that thing. I've got a frequency. It's not control, but it is something. This troop transport has its own sentience. It is dying. I do not know what to do for it, what to say to it. Hold it to shut itself down. It's got something we need. I can't. It's scared, panicking. It's broken split in two. It is slowly fading away. Hello. I'm here. You're not alone. Not alone. I don't think we can help save it. But we'll stay here with it. It's gone. It's just... gone. I'm sorry. At least it heard some kind words in its final moments. I know this is hard, but I need access to its diagnostics. I suppose it is what must be done. By the way, I'm Prototype Zero Zero Combat Helper. You can call me Pooch. Mark. Mark Leslie.
Careful, civilian, don't fall in. I can't swim. I installed the avionics data bus. I just need that neural net. Ah, I see that you have found your companion. It is good, good that she survived as well. Once you have found your brother, what do you plan to do? If Don is dead, I will be back for you. That higher. That will indeed help you find your way back to me. That fire will burn its way across this world. And it will burn away the strings that hold the Penrose in this place and time. Something is holding the Penrose here. What do you mean? Yes, it is bound up, tied down, angry, angry, clawed. Even if the portal between them and now was open this minute, the Penrose would still be bound to this place. The Ascendancy, the Tribulationists, they have it trapped. They worship it, yet they fear that it will leave them. To open the portal, you will need to repair the array that pulled the Penrose into your wind and release the spinning crimson anchors at Babel that hold the Penrose trapped to our world. Tell me about the Array. The three arms of the Array are bound together through time. They exist at the start of the string, and now here at its end. So, the Array existed back in my time? Yes, but over the centuries the three arms have been torn apart. They require a power source of red mercury, a tether device that lets them communicate with the past, and a slingshot to rip open time and space. Where can I find all these things? This puppet managed to track the red mercury to an agnet named Grave, who runs an outpost called the Kettle. The other items? You will have to seek those out for yourself. And the anchors? Once the array is switched on and the portal is open, the anchors must be disrupted. I do not know how this can be done, but I trust that you will find a way. Now go, my child, go. Overriding safety protocols. Ejecting neural net. Battery recharging.
I have integrated the Buffalo's voice commands into the radio. We will also be able to use the autopilot, thanks to the new avionics bus. Thanks, Pooch. I don't think I could have done that myself. Some sort of diagram here. Yo, Bridgerin, what are going on? It's a nice machine. Buffalo troop transport, eh? With all four engines working. Uh, yeah, yeah, Buffalo transport. I can see you replace the old busting diesel engines. Smart. Can you tell me where I am? You're in Weatherberg, friend. Furthest place away from anywhere you could find. So how you find your way to this little slice of heaven? With a buffalo, you must see I come from the warden. I'm looking for a place where a satellite crashed. Any ideas? And where you want to know about that for? I'm looking for my brother. He's lost, but I managed to contact him and he described a buried satellite before his radio died. Just happens I know where that is. But if you're going that way, my friend, I'll be needing something. There's a crash space satellite close to the warden. I need something from there. Maybe you could refresh my memory. Who or what is a warden? <laughs> well, I'm always happy for make a new friend, even when them look slow. Warden, big spinning gateway out past the city ruins. Let's you travel far to the other place safely through the ether. The ether? My friend, you're more than a little slow today. Ether, radiation. Oh, you survived so long not knowing how to avoid the rainbow gas. You need the warden access device in order to get through. I can install a spear for you. For your price. Or how about I beat you within an inch of your fucking life and I just take the device? <laughs> Then I wish you good luck installing it, friend. Jerick is a third generation mechanic. Dad and me was stripping Agnite parts when I was just six. Tell you what, I'll make a deal with you. Bring me the Alexis computer core and I'll upgrade your buffalo. It's close by the crash satellite, nearby the warden. See you soon, friend.
You have the look of a man seeking truth. Have a seat and tell Bra Bones what ails you. I don't know about trying to find truth, but I am trying to find my brother. Ah, brothers, <laughs> what a blessing they are, to be sure. If you have nothing in life but a loving brother, you are most rich. Last time I spoke to him, he said he was close to a buried satellite. Jarek the mechanic knows where a satellite sits, overtaken by nature, being slowly dragged beneath the ground. But there are two halves of that hole, just like brothers, yeah? <laughs> There's also a buried satellite to the north. My other half, my brother, is at the kettle. He's serving grave. I fear I took from him what can never be returned. You know grave? I need to see him. After Grave battled never a horses for the glory of the Dallahan, he locked himself away in his fortress. But I believe he would grant you an audience, Traveller. Thank you for sharing these moments with me. If I may, let me leave you with a trinket that has brought me luck. A map of the world to guide you on your journey. <clears throat> now, if you don't mind, I must get back to my other paying customers. May the Wanderer guide you. The warrior protect you, and the spirit of Inja follow you. Smells good. I don't. Uh, I don't wanna. <coughs> I don't wanna. Wanna talk to you. I need your help. Oh. Uh. <laughs> the room is spinning. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama. Baba, is it you? Mama! You <coughs> ask too many questions. <coughs> but I haven't said a thing. Rock. It's. <coughs> it's. It's inside me. I can feel it. <coughs> it's behind my eyes. I, <coughs> Do you want a party? My name... My name is... Egypt. Oh, it's already stifling in here. It's even hotter up here.
a fresh face with virgin eyes falls upon me. You have strong arms, a strong back, and all your teeth. Mm -hmm. Yes, you will make a fine addition. Have you come to join in my family? To be a concubine to the mistress of Witherberg? Hmm? Faulkner, I'd rather marry the dog. And she would be a lucky beast. I would hope that you would reconsider. To be in the harem of Mina of Witherberg, witness of the tribulation and servant of the ascendancy, is to be a blessed spirit. But if you're not here as a suitor, are you here for an offering of gold? I am sometimes forced to remind newcomers that any treasures they possess belong to us and to Darus. But we are not mongrel savages. We will gladly compensate you with a few credits for your trouble. And with those credits, we also offer wares to help you on your way. I'd love to look at your, uh, wares, but first I need information. Normally, I would charge for information, but for a lovely, strong creature such as you, I cannot help myself. Ask what you will. Have you heard of something called an array? Even as a witness of the ascendancy, this is something I have not heard of. But I will keep my eyes and ears open just for you. What's a witness of the ascendancy? The witnesses provide gold and technology to the high priests of tribulation. In their infinite wisdom, the ascendancy bestowed upon us immortality, and all we had to give them in return was meat. If this is a path you choose to walk with us, I can have it arranged. Hmm? No thanks. I lock my meat where it is. I'm sure I would like it just as much. But enough flirtation. Would you like to see my <laughs> ways? I would, yeah. Keep up the pace. No signal from the antenna.
Those guards are heavily armed. It is hot out here, civilian. Fuck off. Go away. I just have some questions. Are you deaf? Ishmael says fuck off. Hey, it's a long fucking way down. There are two of us. Just one of you. Maybe reconsider your attitude unless you want to go for a swim. Huh. Yeah. Wouldn't want to get my fancy suit wet, eh? Uh, you caught a the dog. They're pretty good judges of character. You might be okay. How did you find your way out here to Wetterberg? We came here from the Penrose. <laughs> Fine then. Don't tell me where you're from. But let me tell you. If I thought for a minute you were telling the truth, that would mean your mates were the priests of tribulation. And if you're with the priests, I'd have geen problem tossing you and your dog there into these sewer pipes. You verstaan? I'm telling the truth, but we're not with the priests. I don't even know who the priests of tribulation are. Well, if you never dealt with the bastards, count yourself lucky. One of those gold-faced poopals killed Red. My prawn. Best damn hunting bug this side of slag. What is slag? Slag is my home. Been bombed to cuck from years of war with these bristle-headed worm bastards. I left there to hunt across the world, me and Red, out to make our name. But we had a run-in with the priests. They got their rules and their laws. They tried to push those laws on people that want nothing to do with them. What happens if you don't listen to them? I was hunting in their territory. Red tracked that giant worm, Umloki, to Vesta. And we did what we do. When the priests heard I had killed something on their turf, they came for me. They tied me and Red up and left us for the vultures. Red broke free. Chewed off three of his own legs to do it. I was too weak by then. Smart Bug went and found help. The mistress of Witterberg sent some of her soldiers. They took the dead worm as payment. Been eating it slow for months now. Red... Didn't make it though. He died before I got home. Lost too much fluid. Best damn partner I ever had. Now that you've killed the worm, what do you think of doing next? I've been taking small contracts. Killed the lion that ate some of ours. Tracked down some mystic animal for the Chisenyama, but I miss Red. So now, I'm taking a break. Now I'm fishing. Look after that drone there. Look after your partners. <laughs> 